Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. If you saw my video yesterday, you saw my dilution haul video where I showed you all the dilution items that I bought, like this great cover. And um, today I want to start working in it. So I'm gonna start working in the blank journal. I have this one, which is uh, hand lettering lines. And this one that has bullet journal dots in here. But those are gonna go away for a while. I'm going to use this one so I can put this aside as well. And I might use this stencil, which I'm gonna just take out. And I got some of my other dilution stemp stemple, stencils. <laughs> and some dilution um, sentiments and borders and this little lady. So. I don't know what to do yet, but I'll figure it out. So uh, I'm calling my journal, I'm giving it a name, I'm calling it Deliberately Dilutions, <laughs> because I only want to work with dilutions. Uh, like I explained yesterday, it's because I want to, you know, sit down, use, uh, don't have to think about it too much. You know, I'm gonna use dilution sprays today and I'm gonna use some stencils and I'm gonna use some stamps and uh, it's deliberate only dilutions so that I don't have to think about it too much. I'm just gonna do it. I thought that was a nice name. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? <laughs> I only want to hear it if you think it's okay. Um, should I just work on the... Oh, why not? I'm gonna work on here. This is a bit of a difficult book to keep like this. I think I need those little thingies. You know what I'm talking about. Probably not, but... Um, oh, here they are. <laughs> There's a goldfish. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, that's on my desk. What do you have on your desk? A goldfish. And this thing. So let's just do this because that's a bit better. Okay, I want to use sprays. So to be honest, I should cover up the whole of my desk <laughs> because you know me. But, uh, well, I hope this will be enough. Just a little bit over here. Just have to be a bit careful. <laughs> uh, I've got bubblegum pink, of course. And I have cherry pie. And a little bit of lemon zest. It's almost empty. And a new bottle of squeezed orange. So, here I go. Wow. And a bit of orange. I love it. This is... Oh, wait. Let me just get one of these. Because now this is orange. <laughs> and some... Whoa, that's pink. Pink. And a little bit of red. Oh, just a little bit. So I can do this. But that does. Oh, I like it. Okay, I like this. I'm gonna spray just a little bit more yellow. And I want a bit over here. Well, okay, a lot more yellow. <laughs> so. Okay, well, normally my hands are already very dirty by now. I Keep forgetting uh, you need to clean these nozzles every time you use them otherwise they'll clog up okay I think I like this so I'm going to take my heat tool and um, dry it a bit okay well this part is really pretty as well already uh, I did a workshop once um, with Diane Reevely and we got this really brand new, uh, what do you call it, art journal, the, uh, her, her huge art journal. 
and it was so pretty and so new. And then we had to spritz on it, spritz on the cover, spritz, spritz on the cover, and spritz inside and tear out a page. And then this was really awful for most people. Spritz in your neighbor's journal. <laughs> And then she said, you, you could hear people sighing, no, I want to keep it beautiful. And she said, you already ruined it, so um, now you can do anything you want, because it's already ruined. I loved that. <laughs> that was the first time I started letting go, just, you know, don't care too much about uh, what you make. It's okay, if this is dirty, it's okay. <laughs> but that was kind of hard at the beginning. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this on, because... Yeah, okay. So, stencils. So this was easy. This was just easy. I love it. I think I want to use some uh, the new stencil, of course, and I think I want to use something like uh, this one. Now, what do I use it with? Um, I really want to use some black, but I don't know if I still have black dilution paint. Uh, wait, it might be over here. I'm not really sure if it still works, because most of my dilution paints are dried out. <laughs> you can see the bottom, there's even a crack in here. This is solid. I don't think... Uh, someone told me to put water in it anyway, but I don't think you can salvage this. This is solid. You can... look at that. Oh. Yeah. So let me know. If you think you can still salvage this by putting water in it, even though it's plastic by now. Any tips? I think I need to throw this out. But... <laughs> and I need to clear my desk. I'm just gonna get some black paint. Okay, so now this deliberate dilution art journal is dilutions and a little bit of Amsterdam acrylic paint. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh well, doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna go over it like this. Ooh with a bit of black paint and I might do it like this well, I am doing it like that yeah, this paint isn't really good for that okay, I'm not doing it like that I'm doing it like this with a baby wipe I didn't think that would work, it's too fluid <laughs> okay, you got this is gonna be, this is gonna be great videos guys, me and paint and stuff. It's gonna go everywhere. <laughs> oh well, but I like it. A bit over here. A little bit over there. Not too much. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> right. Let's try to clean this. <laughs> oh, I'm so hopeless with stuff like this. Okay, this I can clean later on. Or I can clean in here. Wow, that looks great. <laughs> okay, first let me put the cap on because uh, it's gonna be really fun to get this from under my nails. <laughs> yeah, okay. To be honest, this is actually what I like. Dirty fingers. Uh, let's put this on here again. I'm gonna try it right a bit. Um, so while this is drying, I'm just going to get myself uh, a stamp. I'm going to use my Misty tool and get a bit of thin paper. Haven't used this. And I want her. And I want her little face and a little hat. And Should I give her wings? Oh, why not? Some wings. But I also want some mushrooms. That's not gonna fit. <laughs> okay. I 
can do this. Mushroom, a wing, not a wing. This should fit. <laughs> I love this. Um, I need memento. Because I want to color it in with markers. Here we go. Yeah, let's do that again. baby wipe. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna do it with a bit of water. Maybe baby wipe would have been better, but oh well. Um, let's put them back on. <laughs> okay guys oh this went just right <laughs> so I'm going to color this in and um, yeah do you want to see that or shall I just show you the end result just color it in and then um, fussy cut it with my really beautiful nails you know what I'm going to show you me coloring this little mushroom and I'm going over the edges because who cares I'm just gonna cut it out anyway so I'm not being too careful oh, I like it <laughs> so this one and I think I'm going to leave this white I like that so I can fussy cut this one. If you don't know how to fussy cut, let me show you. <laughs> like this. <laughs> See, that's really, really difficult. Although a tip is to leave your scissors like that and just turn your paper uh, all in all directions. I did. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. So I turn my paper. I don't turn my scissors, but I just turn my paper. And that works really well. It's way better than doing this. You, you get, if you do that, you get, you know, it's not really round. You get edges. But if you just turn your paper around and leave your scissors the way they are, you get really nice rounded corners, I wanted to say. Ta-da. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest and fussy cut it and then I'll get back to you. So this has all been colored in and fussy cut. Put that away. <laughs> and uh, where did I leave my journal? Over here. My deliberate dilution journal. I like it. So I've got this cute lady and I can, can give her uh, wings, upside down wings. Let's just see, like that. And there's gonna be a mushroom over here and I've got a little one over here. And over here, oh, she needs a head. And a hat. <laughs> oh well, something like this. Um, yeah, first I think I'm gonna doodle some borders. And then I want to do this. So I need a pen. Now, actually, you need to let this dry a bit longer than I'm doing now, but let's just see if it works. Oh, what's this? Okay. I have no idea. Let's see if it works. Um, ooh. Now, I can start this journal with not being... Oh, now I'm going to start with really dilution stuff. Because normally I would do two lines, that's my thing. And I might do that one day because I don't have to 
you know, be really dilution like. <laughs> it's funny because normally I would have done it the other way around, but I forgot. Now it's on the inside. Okay. Make the line a bit thicker. I like this. So here I'm going to do <laughs> this. What? That's not dilution like. No, it isn't. But I like it. So I'm going to do it over here as well. Guys, it's not that I need to make, you know, those dilution paints that really look like exactly what Diane does. But uh, it's just that I use her products. And I don't really have to think about what I'm doing because I can use all the products together. And that's, that's what I want, actually. So I need to find my dilution pens. I do have to... Oh, there's a hair on here. I do have the black and the white one, but I have not tried, I haven't even bought the uh, the paint pens. Let me know in the comments down below if you have them, if you use them, and if you're satisfied about them. Because I find that markers and paint pens and stuff, it really varies of how good it works. It always looks really great on film when they advertise it, but does it really work? Let me know. I would love to know because I might buy some of them. But I would like to know if they are really worth the money. I like this. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to make this one too complicated. I do want to put some black dots in here because I kind of like that somehow. So I did get some stamps out for, uh, for borders, but I decided to doodle them myself. So maybe next time. I think I'm going to glue this on. Somehow I want some circles. Why do I want circles? I don't know. I just want circles. Um, oh, <laughs> I wanted small circles, but this is a real, really big pen. Um, piece of paper. This says bold and this says fine. So that's not really dilution like at all, but I just love to have some circles and some scribbling. I don't know why. Scribble, scribble, scribble. So this is a bit me. <laughs> I love doing this, guys. I'm just pretending like I'm writing, but I'm not. Over here, and a circle over here, and maybe one circle over. Ah, this is okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to glue these on. So this is gonna be fun because you know me and glue. But I'm gonna try it again. So first, this little lady. My husband is reading the paper, as you can hear. <laughs> Next page. Over here on the ground. So she's got something to stand on. <laughs> Otherwise she would be floating in the air. Oh, I forgot her wings. No, of course I did. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> she's got wings. Why didn't you say anything? You saw me do it. You might have thought, you're forgetting the wings. <laughs> and I did. Okay, here's one. Okay, now I need a sentiment. And then I think it's finished. So what shall I put on here? I've got this one, so there must be one on here. I will never be a well-behaved woman. I like this one. Please come again when you can't stay so long. Or the only thing I'm growing this year is older and more irritable. <laughs> it's, these are such 
happy, happy sentiments. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this one. Please come again when you can't stay too long. I think I did this one on one of my last journals. Oh my gosh, that was sorry. Paint everywhere. So do I still have some paper? All my little scraps. Where did I put my memento? So I'm gonna try it in one go. <laughs> That's gonna, ah! <sighs> Boy, one of those days. Oh, I'm happy with it. Good enough. So I need to cut these. And I don't need to cut them really um, nicely because the lines are crooked. And it's actually kind of funny if you got a little bit of white lines. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'm not really fussy cutting this uh, with a lot of effort. <laughs> Please come again. Please come again. When you can't, <coughs> glue it on. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I've got glue on my sweater, on my jumper. <laughs> I do. Ah. Okay. This is going to be a fun journal. But... Look at this. So first I'm going to get some glue off my hands. And then I'm going to see if I think it's okay. So. What do you think? Is it finished? I think so. I absolutely love it. Oh, this is going to be such a fun project, guys. So... I'm gonna see if I don't have glue that it sticks to the other side. No, I did I did okay. So I'm gonna get my cover. <laughs> this is gonna be a really <laughs> lovely book because wait, let me just put it in here. Because on the front cover it says I'm working, please kindly go away. And then the first thing you open is please come again when you can't stay so long. And all those sentiments, all Diane's sentiments are, most of them are very, I like people, now go away. <laughs> but I like that. So guys, this is the first page of my Deliberate Dilutions journal. What do you think? I kind of like it and I think I'm going to have so much fun filling this up. And I have two more of these. This is going to be awesome. I love it. So, um... I think I'm gonna sit down the next couple of days and just start stamping some of these images and, you know, coloring them and then sit on the couch, watch some TV and fussy cut them all. Maybe some sentiments, I don't know. And then I'll just um, make some other pages. <laughs> I don't know. But I love this and I love, I love the way this looks. I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy I bought this, guys. Um, yeah, actually I got it as a present from my husband. He was so sweet and uh, he's still sweet, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to ramble, so I need to stop this video. I hope you like this video. Let me show you the page again, because this is not my work. This is Diane Reevely's work. This is my work with her stuff. Um, so this was my deliberate dilutions journal, page one loads to come hope you liked it if you did you know i would love a thumbs up and i would love it if you subscribe and well all that's left to say is groetjes from holland greetings from holland bye